can't keep going up and up and up. There has to be a little bit of a correction. Those folks that thought the, the interest rates were gonna come back down to uh, you know 3%, they're starting to realize that it's probably not gonna happen. I do not see a crash coming. I do see a little bit of a, of a downtick in prices. Yeah! Hey guys, Jeff Brower here. I'm out here along Lake Erie. Wanted to talk a little bit about the housing market today, but also give you guys some views along the lake. Um, I've been getting some questions from some people about whether or not I think it's a good time to buy or whether or not I think it's a good time to sell. And I have some opinions about that. So the current interest rate right now for a 30-year conventional for a buyer with good credit is 6.5%. Uh, According to Redfin, in 2022, back in the middle of 2022, 92.8% of homeowners had an interest rate under 6%. So if you think about it, this is this has a big effect on the inventory out there right now because most people that have an interest rate locked in at say 3% do not wanna sell their home and go buy in at 6%. Their interest rate payment is going to double essentially. So it's causing a lot of people to hold on to their homes, not move, which has caused uh, very, very low inventory levels. And that's the reason why prices have remained so high now where do I see this going over the next year? In the springtime, we always have a little bit of an uptick in the number of listings, but I think this year it's gonna be, uh, the activity level is gonna rise even higher than normal, just because people are starting to realize that the interest rates are not gonna be going back down and people that have been kind of holding on to their homes, thinking that the rates were gonna come back down to 3% are realizing, well, you know, we may not get that lucky and they're starting to consider selling. So the inventory I think is gonna be going up. And what do I think that's gonna do for home prices here over the next six months? Well, I think prices will come down just a little bit because the prices are really higher than they've they've ever been. And uh, it's, it's just, you know, it can't sustain for much longer. We can't keep going up and up and up. There has to be a little bit of a correction. So in my opinion, the prices are not gonna crash. You have a lot of people saying, oh, it's gonna crash. When's the crash coming? I do not see a crash coming. I do see a little bit of a, of a downtick in prices. Show you guys here a little bit of the ice that's been forming on the, uh, the coast here. Kind of some cool ice formations. I think that the interest rates are gonna remain about 6% for, uh, for the next six months. And I don't see them coming down much, much further than that. Now, whether or not I think it's a good time to buy or sell, it's kind of funny when you ask a realtor this question, and I am a realtor, every time you ask a realtor this question, you're gonna hear them say, oh, it's a great time to buy because yada, yada, yada. And it's a great time to sell because of, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, I, whenever I hear this, I kind of cringe because it just oozes salesmen. You know, when someone's saying it's a good time to buy and it's a good time to sell, you can't really have both at the same time. So um, I, I, you know, I understand why they do that in order to get the business. I'm out here trying to tell the truth to you guys so you know what, what I'm thinking. And so what do I think? I think it's a good time to sell. I'm in contract to sell two of my properties and I say that to illustrate that I put my money where my mouth is when I say I think it's a good time to sell. I'm gonna show you guys here all these ducks. Thousands of them. And as soon as I come over this ridge, they're all gonna take off. So I'm gonna show you guys this a little bit here. I bet all the hunters out there are just gonna be super jealous of this, but check this out. Yeah! So it is a great time to sell if you, if you have the luxury of being able to sell. It's a great time to sell and rent because then you're not buying in at the interest rates that you're at right now. There's always life events like that that are gonna make people buy or sell. But if you're comfortable in your home and there's no real reason for you to sell, you're not gonna move out of state or to a different location. You really have to think about these things and how much it's gonna cost you versus staying where you're at. You know, if you're locked in at 3% and you have to, you know, buy at six, and if you're gonna buy a similar price home in the same area, then that monthly payment is gonna be a lot different. So it might not make sense to do that. One big difference now in the market versus the crash back in 2008, 2009, 
is the amount of foreclosures. And, and we'll talk a little bit about how that has an effect on things, on pricing. There were 2.9 million filings for foreclosures in 2010. And uh, compare that to right now in 2023, we're at 357,000. So uh, it's about a tenth of, um, of the number. And that's, uh, ha that has a lot to do with lending and um, you know the rules for lending. Back in 2008, anyone that could fog a mirror was able to get a loan. And that caused a lot of issues and you know that helped to uh, cause the crash. So right now the foreclosures are very low also due to the moratorium. You know, after COVID, certain lenders, they weren't able to foreclose. So we're gonna start to see those numbers tick up a little bit, but not nearly as much as they did in 2008 because lending has changed a lot. Lending practices have changed and what led up to the foreclosure, you know, that foreclosure number being so high in 2010 was just, you know, bad lending and they'd give a loan to anybody. So it's gonna be a little bit different, but foreclosures will tick up as we go along and that's just gonna create more inventory and also, you know, help to bring prices down because as the inventory goes up here in the springtime into 2024, that's just gonna you know, cause the prices to come down a little bit as houses sit on the market longer and they're not being scooped up because there's, there's no inventory. So more inventory is good. It's gonna be a healthy thing because prices will correct a little bit. We can't really sustain with the prices at the peak the way they've been over the last year or so, you know, it just, it's not sustainable and affordability is going down. You have um, first time home buyers who are looking to get into a house. A lot of buyers that I've been working with have been discouraged because they've been waiting for so long and we're looking at houses and prices have been getting multiple bids. And I'm kind of, I'm looking forward to a little bit of a correction to bring inventory levels back to, uh, to where they were pre-pandemic. It's just gonna help to even things out and it's gonna help with um, affordability overall. <clears throat> hey, Tom. Good, how are you? Just enjoying the beautiful day out here. 